Mm, what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wall Let's Play is the Kingdom of Mysore and in this episode we are going to uh, assault the last Prussian stronghold here at Breslau and we are going to get some Prussian reinforcements and we may need them because we're going to retreat um, a couple of these units right off the back. It's already depleted uh, but we should be fine. The enemy garrison is pretty weak. So let us get cracking. So once we take out this city that will be the end of the Prussian Empire, and then we need to spend uh, a bit of time rejigging our forces to face off against the uh, Russian Empire. Because right now, well, they will soon be the biggest threat, and it would be tempting to try and get to try and invade Britain en route. But I'm I want to try see if I can do some fancy diplomacy stuff first. Uh, may or may not be possible, but first of all, let's try and take Breslau and knock out the Prussians once and for all. Right. Doesn't really matter where we put our guns. Good, so these two units are going to be back here and they're going to run away. To be honest, a lot of you are going to run away. These four units are all going to run. I'm going to bring my Cairo, Royal Cairo Infantry Guards just because they are Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Everyone else is generally okay. So you men... Aim here. You men flee. Here come the Russians. Thank you for helping me take the city. Lots of cavalry. We'll soon make our way in. Oh yes! I, f I, d I completely did not see that my Sapahi and my Lancers are bugged. We have 375 armoured lance cavalry, which is as many as you'd get. This is effectively three Sapahi units in one. That's pretty awesome. Okay, good. The Kizobashi are coming. Okay, let's... Rejig our lines. So you guys push up here. It is incredibly tempting when as soon as you make a breach to just charge because uh, that's a lot of really good cavalry. I'm going to run these units up here. My Royal Cairo Infantry Guards just push up hard and fast up that flank. Natives and everyone else get into a position to start skirmishing against the wall. The intriguing thing is, can we trap a bunch of these guys up on the wall? I mean, I may as well do it, because I don't think these guys don't come back. Well, what I mean is, oh, I don't actually know. Um, will these guys now, are these guys now fixed at 375, or do they, will they at some point go back? I want to say they may not go back. Apologies there, and a bit of a, a bit of a tickly throat. And it looks like they are gonna let us. Look at that! It bounced off the wall here, then came in and killed them. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I kind of have to send in 
my infantry, right? My cavalry. Because look at it. Look at it. 600 cavalry. So you guys up to support the gap, or to, to support the push after the fact. Whoop, sneeze incoming. Radio. I mean, you are going to go for it. These Cairo guards still try to scale the wall. Charge in. It's a lot of armored cavalry. Actually, if I bring my lances over here. I think my artillery aren't doing what I want them to do, otherwise they'd have knocked down this section already. Bring out my general. You must have you're gonna just do a lot of damage here. I mean my lance is gonna do a huge amount of damage here. So I have no idea how... I, I, my assumption is that it kind of takes the, the one of these figures and accidentally transposes it over. It's not something I do. Um, can't really explain it. I don't really know how it works. I certainly don't try to replicate it. It just kind of happens. Well, you guys actually just stop firing. So give them orders like Give them orders to push in Okay, yeah, you guys, you guys take the gate they are swarming us to so my Sipahi are going to start to get blunted here because a lot of I mean Prussian garrison Prussian, Prussian line infantry isn't terrible so you're skirmishing with them let's try send send some men to capture the walls here New men push in, attack the um, citizenry. Soon we will have the wall. That will be ours. Get you guys to run. Get you run. Get you guys to run. Get over here, actually. Yeah, if you guys don't fight, just get up here and start firing shots into the centre. That'd be really useful. Kill the enemy general. Let's get one unit up here to secure the the square. One unit to push forward and get ready to flank, push through this gap here. Allies have captured a building, sir. There we go, here come the Russians. But make sure we get on that central square first. Not that I think it matters, but I don't want to get caught out in case it does. African infantry guards attack the militia. There we go, skirmishes. You are no longer useful. There we go. So they're going to man the fire step, fire down into the center. A swarm of Sipahi are still battling to get in. Make sure my elephants fire will off. 
There we go. Now oh, we're getting some kills. Comes their militia. Eighth regiment is falling. Oh yes, they're going to try and route through our our uh, cavalry. Kill them! Kill them! There's so many of them. Rack up the kills. But we're not going to keep fighting because there's no point. I'm not overly bothered by the experience if I have to waste a lot of time to get it, especially when. The meat of this episode can be getting ready for the next war. So let's get ready. So Breslau is ours, and we've secured a key crossing. New men replenish, new men replenish. Okay, good. So we've got control of some of the key bridges. You can push forward to here. I mean, I'm not. I'm never. I'm never overly fussed about fortifications, but I don't know. It feels thematic. There we go. So we fortified this pass to the west of the Carpathian Mountains. They can't easily get through there. Vienna can be secured. You men are going to fortify. No, actually, you have no movement points. Can you leave Croatia? You can. So you're going to get up behind the bridge here, ready to push. You're going to get up behind this army, ready to push. Okay, so you're going to ready to push Istanbul from the south. You're going to push it from the north. You're going to get ready to push against Belgrade as are you do you want to take we want to take Belgrade uh, quickly so then we can push forward Klausenberg and then we've only got to worry about this passage this passage this area they can cross here as well um, up here in the north make sure make sure everyone on the river is replenishing We're starting to... Well, we need to make sure that you guys push to... Make sure these river forces have reinforcements. Okay, build a bunch of Kizobashi, then you can push out of Berlin to support this, this river. You don't have any chance of of coming out anytime soon. You probably need to probably need some troops to attack, really. Ready to attack the uh, attack any rebels that get generated. Um, Amsterdam. Let's go for It's going to be a pretty boring army, but this is going to be an army who sieges. That's all they're going to do. They are going to... Well, they're going to be ready for Cologne to stir up some trouble. So these armies are ready to invade... Probably They're probably going to invade Ireland and then push to Scotland and then head south. So these... Heavy ships. You can go into Antwerp. And let's just buy a load more ships. Got a lot of ships operating in the Baltic. So with, with this, we can effectively cut off the cut off the Baltic Sea. But out of Rostock, let's 
build a bunch of Zhebex because we need to start raiding. We will need to start raiding Russian ports. And it's the same here at Izmir, although I'm pretty sure we've got enough. So we'll need a force ready to hold at Istanbul. Idea, the idea is I want to push from the west, draw some of these armies away from Istanbul, then these guys make the crossing and take them out. Fairly sure. You're going to go to there. You were going to go there, I guess. Oh, actually, probably the other way around. Oh, no. Actually, that didn't, that's not bad. Because we have some real, a chance to make us get some real advantage here in the in the uh, Caucasus. So Sipahi, General, Lancer, Sipahi, Zimdari Horseman, Four Gunners, Galayin. There we go. Recruit Infantry, even Feline Musketeers. Camel Mercenaries, Jump's Bodyguard, Spahi Spahi, Horseman. Something like that. Just keep pumping out troops, because we are going to need them. The garrison here in Azerbaijan may become useful. So you men go for some 12 pounders. I mean, they're not going to be great, because they're just an infantry based force. But they'll be good for going after, like, you know, Ufa and Astrakhan. Somewhere behind the lines. In terms of India itself, you are at full strength. So what is tempting to do... So in terms of the Americas... We got some... Okay, I'm going to push you guys up to... Texas border. You men attack the Mexican rebels, because then that will probably make everything okay. Minus one. That does make things okay. We can get some more building done. We can get a madrasa here in Monterey. Get on warehouse built. Don't really need a no, don't really need a dockyard. Cause there's a chance that we may there's there's a, there's a possibility we may continue our war against the our enemies in North America. I think the challenge is that everyone is tied into um, Dagestan. So Denmark would be interesting for their protectorate of Georgia, actually. Greece would be interesting, but it's Dagestan. Huron and nobody, but they're only inland because they gave this away to Dagestan. Inuit, Dagestan. Iroquois, Dagestan. New Spain is open, but there's only one territory. Georgia, Dagestan, Dagestan, Georgia. What about Britain? Ally with Russia. Okay. I think all we can do is hit N10, keep beefing up our strength. And then get ready for the eventual war. Because there will be one. And it will when it kicks off, it's gonna kick off big time, Staley. Got one army ready to pounce on Norway. Two armies in Copenhagen ready to storm towards um, Stockholm. Because then that will be the northern areas secured. Lots of these smaller countries, they need to decide who they want to fight for.
I may end up jumping on Dagestan. I need to see what their diplomatic structure looks like. Are the ally with anyone we need to be particularly careful about? Workers are on strike, and now they aren't. So you men push up to this edge here, ready to push up towards Santa Fe. Mexico, yes. So you want to keep dropping a bunch of money across the board because we don't actually have... We don't have the level of wealth that you would imagine from controlling so many territories. And part of that, I have to think, is because we've got so many madrasas everywhere. Rather than industrial buildings. Because that has to have an effect. But other than that, I should build a trading port here. So, here at Genoa, minus 10, you definitely cannot leave. Oh, the Omoy Garrison said army, that's why. Can you leave Turin and can you hop in? Minus 4, not yet, but soon. Something useful. And at the Netherlands. Yeah, I can't even recruit melee infantry. Hanover's finally come round, but I need a priest, if I can get one. Recruitment and stuff, all good stuff. New port emerges in Denmark. Letter of demands in Saxony. Close entry from tax. It doesn't help it, but we'll fight the rebels if they show up. Um, Brandenburg's yeah, Brandenburg now has a madrasa, so I can send this agent west to Hanover. Oh no, you do have a madrasa; it's just hiding. Very well. Then this agent heads towards Gdansk. They yeah, keep chipping away. Two point six percent a turn's pretty good. I'll soon get that religious unrest down. Prague does not yet have a madrasa. Hung uh, uh, Hungary's got a bunch. Vienna's got one. 3% a turn, that's pretty good. Zagreb doesn't have one. Oh, I forgot to do most of the... Yeah, it's down here. Shame. And we don't need... Two happiness buildings here. You will sat. You will suffice with some religious guidance. Okay, so this fleet can go over here. You're going to get a sloop to protect yourself. Oh, I never uh, moved this army here in India. Let's deploy them. Get them to Europe. Recruit a general. So we are slowing down our production of Indian armies. I don't think we need them at the speed that we were previously generating them. You are still only net 100,000 a turn because my army upkeep is so damn high. Which I can get rid of you. Actually, I can just swap. I don't know why I kicked. Plus one happiness, nobility. Is no one just four star basic? So the trick, I think, is to do this. You do this so that they don't effectively change the status quo and all the candidates get refreshed. But yeah, I, I am intrigued to see what the AI does. You've got your guns. Oh, 
Ah, uh, but the, the AI is probably desperate to try and declare war on me. I mean, if they did, right now I'd kind of be a bit, not screwed, but I don't have many allies. Where are you going? Ooh, Russia's attacking Dagestan. Interesting. Ooh, is that... Okay, so Brazil, we might have some trade spots. I think Bavaria's just running out of money. Yep, Dagestan pushed the Russians back. Now they're raiding Russian ports. There goes Courland. Here comes Greece. Okay, so South America first. Let me in! Let me in! A bit of coffee. It's got a bit. Right, so. Rifle cannons. Actually, hold on. I'm going to quickly mob this up. Just. And we are back. Right, so. Brazil. Oh no, still waiting for. Gaps to open up. Hmm. And we own the Straits of Madagascar. The East Indies are all currently occupied. I suppose. We want to be ready. We want to be ready for when they come available. Probably should have just done them, done all, recruited, made all these admirals off the bat, and then split them up. So then you recruit one, two, two, three, four. We go one, two. Something like that, and then somewhere that's currently not recruiting all these ships. Recruit another selection of fourths ready to make the trip. Good, I mean, we've got plenty of battle fleets. No, it is a trade fleet. We've got lots of trade. We've got a good amount of trade fleets being built. We've got... I mean, these are... Yeah, these are my... Almost my escort fleets. Hey, Madrasas. The main thing is I want to look and see if I can recruit uh, any, or if I've recruited any agents. Yep, all of Hungary's big madrasas are popping. See, it's fine. Just accept your new overlords. Sarajevo, you can get a yeah, madrasas across the board, and then you can get a craft workshop. Good. Okay, so you've already got a madrasa, so you may, your agent may go down to Zagreb, begin converting them. So yours will slow down a bit, but that's okay, it will be permanent. So there are some Saxon rebels. I might move you guys back to go fight them, rather than remove the garrison. Don't care about rebellion. Okay, recruit three of those. One, two, three. A general. Three spaces. One, two, three. 
and she goes up to ISC. I mean, I would, like, let's, just, let's build an army. Something like that. Let's, their only job is to go take Crimea and then hold it. Traits gained. Good stuff. We've got so many generals and admirals, it's kind of moot, really. Okay. We're going to crank out some end turns because we need to get. I want to get more of my ducks in a row. More recruitment on the way. I mean, at some point they're going to attack me, or I'm going to attack them. That's that's just what comes down to it. I could attack, I could attack Dagestan. I can do, I can beat around the bush, so to speak, or I can just smack the bush over the head with a stack full of angry Mysoreans. Oh, they're getting Polish rebels. That's neat. New Spain, their gentlemen are moving. They're going all the way across Central and South America. I mean, yeah, Bavaria's just got no. Money. Okay, George are all moving their troops away. I mean, to be honest, I may declare war on Russia just because I need to. I can't have them. I can't have them get stronger. I need to start wearing them down because it's going to take a while. Your Majesty. Fleet arrives. Let's wait for you guys to get into position because you can actually go to some. I'll drop two armies in Norway and one can push. Well, they can both push out. And just keep mass recruiting troops in all of my large towns. Artillery forts, industrial gold mines. Top tier ports. Keep on growing. Oh, the, the, the uh, rebels have gone. Interesting. I haven't, I haven't actually seen that before. Build the madrasas. Good, because then not only will they start getting reduced the religious unrest, they'll actually start to get religious happiness but it will take a while to get there because lots of these areas are hardcore protestant regions and they're going to slowly have their foundries chipped away like austria has every turn one percent just a little bit more okay i think i've just got to do it which means you need to die Okay, so Russia, allied with Britain and Georgia. So you are in fact, you are ready to jump on Cologne if we need to, and then you are ready to jump on Tbilisi if we need to, which we probably will. If we can do it with we well, if we need to do it, we need to do it fast so these guys can't be brought to bear. So, Georgia. Georgia and Britain must choose. Georgia has joined the enemy. Britain has refused to join my side, but we are still allies. So, Georgia is now an enemy. So, you men engage and then stack up reinforcements. So, first of all, let's use you to knock out Cologne. Amsterdam has managed to 
cope without their Mysorian overlords. So, yeah, you take Cologne, take Georgia. Those are two key regions. It's frustrating that Britain did not join us, but we have three armies held in reserve ready to attack Britain should it be necessary. There is a Russian colony in the Americas, but I'm not overly bothered about that. Deploy my guns on the hill. This incredibly fresh, boring army. Swarm. Oh, I've missed one of my one infantry unit. Don't give a darn what the what the cavalry what the um, artillery shoots at. These Georgians have attempted. These Georgians have benefited under Mysorian leadership, and yet it is not enough. They feel the need to betray us. See, that's how big a Sipahi unit should be 120. guys are concerned slaughter the citizenry you men charge that regiment you guys go after them give them some infantry support charge on You men both jump onto the 64th for daring to lay hands on a Mysorian soldier. I mean, yeah, everyone's just... Yeah, <laughs> that's that. Yeah, the Lancers have been blunted because they do good damage on the charge but once they're in the subsequent battle it can be a bit dicey. But when they've got plenty of support like this it's fine. Artillery ceasefire. Swarm, swarm, swarm. The foot, the uh this regiment of foot isn't going to stand much hope. There goes enemy general. They don't even have bayonets, for goodness sake. E men are against the mortar crew. Have at them. So they're there thinking, okay, if we hold off against the cavalry, we'll be okay. All we've got to do is hold off against the cavalry. And suddenly, oh my god. Onions as far as the eye can see. Yeah, well, that's Cologne taken. This is what happens when you support the enemies of our great empire. You suffer. So they hate us, as you can imagine. But if we get rid of that... We should be able to make them chill out somewhat. Keep upgrading their industry. We are not backwards people. We are we are supportive of your needs and rights to develop. Yeah, Amsterdam's chilled out a bit. Start recruiting another army there. Then hop over to Tbilisi. 
Let's go after them. We got plenty of reinforcements. I probably want just infantry up first, rather than um, rather than cavalry and artillery, really. Let's go get them. They got some reinforcements coming in, but we don't care. Once we take the city, the path to the Caucasus is open, and we can swarm across the mountains into the Don. And to be honest, we'll probably eh, yeah, we'll probably go off. Eh. Will we go after Dagestan? Maybe, maybe not. It may open up some problems with Württemberg and Bavaria that we don't quite want to open yet. Not after we've, not considering we've just uh, declared war on the only other major land power in Europe. We may want to play this a bit smart, at least just for the start. Pride, the never failing vice of fools. Okay, I want to go over here because the terrain's a bit better. Spread my line out all the way. Spread my cavalry out. Get my general in the trees, not that it makes any difference. We're going to make multiple breaches. So let's speed up time as we crack our way in. I want to make so many breaches they can't actually defend against us. We, and we do have a lot of enemy reinforcements coming in as well. So we will have that to contend with. But my hope is that my Afghan hillmen, my Kurdish hillmen rather, can capture any gatehouses that we need to take. So you've done that. Then go after here. But to be honest, because they don't have howitzers, we can do stuff like this. If they come out to try and attack us, we can shoot them. Fire before you... Oh, good. You're not actually going to shoot at all. Sometimes I think it's like something to do with giving them orders when they're in a group. That kind of sometimes screws things up. Yeah, go after this bastion so they can't shoot down off of it onto us. Two volleys and that will be gone. We won't be able to take out that one, but we will be able to make a breach. Speed up, just to let Nearly. Uh, some must have missed. Line infantry, line infantry, cavalry. Let's take the unit of Sapahi over here as well. That, that's going to definitely go this turn. This, this volley, rather, not turn. These two units are going to be ready to capture scale here because they can climb it off. They can get off the walls. Speed up time. See, you're not actually. You should fire over my Sipahi. Yep. Good.
I mean, you two might actually... You two take a position here. These two push off to the flank. Doesn't look like they're going to Sally anytime soon. You guys push forward. Fighting unit can run as well. To actually, we may just start to. Well, this will trigger them to push out. That's why you guys need to be up and ready to fire as soon as you can. So we can capture the walls and force. I mean, my Felleen will make... They will make the initial attack. The next volley will obliterate this section of the wall. Go after that edge. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Although some are still going to try and run in. Because that's what the AI does. Can be, it's taking the shortest path, and the shortest path is through the breach. Here comes the 11th. The e men shut them off. The Kurdish hillmen scale up here. Get up on the wall. Scale plus. Okay, here comes the enemy cavalry. Pull you guys back. If I'm predicting the AI's behaviour... And you guys go there, you guys scale here... And you guys cover the breach... To be honest, artillery, get out of here. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, see? So then keep running along the walls, ignore them. I fell in here, shot down the provincial cavalry. We're going to start seeing where those enemy reinforcements come in from now. The Shulman don't as yet have a place. I'm 
Look at these Kurdish hillmen. Up here. It's ready, so ready you want to get stuck in. Fair enough, let's get stuck in. Push through the gate, men. You men push up to here. Give my Kizobashi an order just to effectively combine. The Kurdish Hillman can form up as planned. Counterattack. This attack, I don't expect to do much, except it'll pin down and degrade their forces. A huge bypass. Oh, you're going to have to go after the line infantry. Go after the line infantry. We're getting lots of good fire into this cavalry block. Now they've pushed out of the wall, they should fall quite quickly. You guys are pulling back. here coming in from the flank will push the wall. They will support the attack on this breach here. You keep killing that line infantry unit. So I want to want one unit of Felline is going to have to scale the wall here. But two are going to be sat here ready to get in. Oh no, you're coming in from a different direction. These fellas can get over here. You guys... Actually, these Israeli scale the wall here. These fellas in... Hold. These Israeli will scale the walls. They'll capture this gate, then this gate. To be honest, you just run in through here. Through this other way in. Although you don't appear not to want to. But you know, you continue the push. These guys are going to make it. They're aware of it. They're sending troops to respond. These Afghan hillmen scale the wall in here and capture that gate. Ah, enemy reinforcements. They're going to hit my skirmishers or they're going to hit my men in the breach. It's unfortunately coming in directly behind us. Actually, let's just run... Run you guys into the centre. See how they respond. You're both mowing them down. Form up and shoot the enemy.
friend. Although actually you guys are probably better off going up here and getting through this gate. Bows at the ready, good sirs. Because most of you just push through. Blow through. There's not enough for them there. Push through. Good. My skirmishers are going to make it up on the wall. You go off that regiment of foot, you guys just get in, we'll figure out what to do afterwards. Yeah, they're responding, but the question is, will they do it quick enough? See, so that's one part of the reason why it's good to get these guys just in. Because then suddenly the blockage works for us rather than against us. Although in 18 seconds we win anyway. Yeah, they're not going to take the central square. And they're not going to compete either, no one's close enough. They're going to shoot at me, as long as my guys hold, which they will. Glory for my saw. He got in. They're firing their bows at me rather than charging me. But it doesn't matter because the city is taken. Hurrah. So there goes the mighty Georgian Empire who we have allowed to live on for so long. So we can get rid of this modern university, get rid of the shipyard. New men push up. So you guys replenish. Really, I want one unit to get to this bridge. One unit to take the city. Oh no, you're going to go the wrong way because everyone's gummed up. So if I go to war for da with Dagestan, it gets me into war with Greece, Bavaria. I mean, at some point that's all good stuff because we need to attack the Pueblo nations and we need to attack Greece and Bavaria, but we don't need to worry about them yet. So just start to push men through. Um, I will exempt you from tax just to try and buy a bit of time. And we'll repair your royal palace. But for now, how Islamic are you? Is there a preacher here who's stopping us from converting? Because our... No, you're just really bad. You hate people in Europe. In which case, then, go back to the homeland. You get up to Tbilisi. Okay, so let's get some pushes on the go. I mean, that army, that navy, there's, there's no ships in it I particularly want, so let's just smash it. We lost a few ships, but are they from this fleet? That's fine. Not our main fleet. So you men put to sea in Sinop. Or put to... Sh put uh, Get into dock. You guys will probably pull out as well. You can maintain the security of the crossing. Actually make way... Oh, you, just don't, you don't have the movement points to do anything. 
There we go. Okay, so you go after the naval hospitals. All goes so. Some of these, some ports are particularly useful to attack, like Visby. They need to send a ship to land troops to clear me out, because they can't do it by recruiting ships alone. Especially, oh no, 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 no. I hate you when that happens. You pick them and you go, no, I definitely picked one. One of you to go. And the Shebek. We've got so many military ports. We definitely want to prevent their production of ships. So Rostock, are you still recruiting? Yeah, keep recruiting. So this fleet... Deploy your troops to attack Christiana. You deploy your troops to help support them. Then you join... You might not have the movement, you don't. Next turn you will. You push in towards St. Petersburg. Okay, it's raid. This port, and it also bottles up that fleet. We've done most of this. Right, let's probe Serbia. Right. That's what that's not unexpected not entirely unexpected. Okay, I think one of you needs to go after Roman. If you push forward like this. That's quite a hefty action, but with a lot of support. And that's a lot of artillery, which is not which is kinda good for them, but also a bit of a letdown. But Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, a pretty significant battle, a pretty significant victory for our forces against the Russia in the Balkans. Cheers, everyone.